that I'm at an all time. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Iced here. And this is the second part to my one year in phase video. I posted a one year in phase video a couple days ago uh, on January 12th, which was the anniversary of my one year being in phase. And I told you guys I would post another video. Uh, this is the more special video that I said I had planned uh, for you guys of me being in phase for one whole year. Um, so basically, a lot of you guys don't know me uh, before phase. Um, and I know it kind of doesn't really make too much sense to show off like everything I've done before phase. But I've already done that in my 2015 video, um, just showing what I've done in phase. So I thought there would be no point to do that again. So what I thought I'd do is show you guys who I was before I was in phase. So I'm just going to take you guys through my past on YouTube, like my past before phase, like a whole timeline. I'm not sure if it's going to be in chronological order or not. Uh, more or less, it probably is going to be, but not exactly. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It took me a really, really, really long time to make. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so this is the first clip I want to show you guys. This is the same game you guys were just watching. Uh, so basically, this is my first ever Knife Only Moab. I just kind of uh, cut the clip so you guys could watch the mo more important part. Um, so basically, I was literally shaking at this point. This is my first ever Knife Only Moab, as I said. Um, and I've never got one before, and a lot of people wanted one. And look at this. Look at this right here. That throwing knife was the last kill I needed to get my Moab, and I almost choked it like so close to it i was literally shaking when i got this i was so excited i was so happy um and the next morning uh that i got this um i actually got my second knife on my up so basically in like 24 hours i got two and i've never gotten one before that and it was just really sick to me this was the newest game at the time by the way this is like three years ago um so this is really like a sick clip in my opinion uh you guys can watch the full gameplay i'll put it in the description below Alright, so this clip right here is one of my first ever Search and Destroy quads with my Ice Knight Gamer Tag. I remember I had one on Hanoi. That was my first one ever. That was also an ace. Uh, but this was actually a really sick clip at the time. Not that many people were hitting quad fees in Search and Destroy, especially three years ago. And this is one of my first ones. I was super excited when I hit this. It just brings back a lot of nostalgic memories, um, and I really love it. This next clip right here is also another Search and Destroy clip. Most of the clips you guys are about to see right now um, are Search and Destroy clips. My, all my old clips are Search and Destroy as I was a Search and Destroy player. And you see right here, I literally just chuck across the map Tomahawk uh, topspin and it fucking hits. I was so happy when this hit. Um, especially like three years ago back then, it was a really, really, really sick thing to do. And what's cool about this is like literally like less than like a week later, maybe, maybe it was more than a week, I'm not exactly sure, um, I hit this again. And many people have tried to hit this before, um, and I was one of the first ones to hit it, and I hit it twice, which made it super sick. Me and my friend were literally just freaking out. Um, as you can see, I'm like knifing him right now, and we're just like freaking out, um, especially that I hit it twice. Like, this is fucking retarded that I hit it twice, and we're just absolutely freaking out. This clip just brings back so many memories. This next clip right here was one of the best Search and Destroy clips that I had at the time. Um, you guys are probably going to make fun of it because it's only a quad knife, but you can see my reactions in the background that people were fucking freaking out over that. And this next clip right here was a really sick dynamic quad feed as I climbed the ladder, and I don't know why I said ladder so weirdly, and I got a quad feed right there. And right here on Nuketown, this is my first ever quad kill cam, I'm pretty sure. Um, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure I haven't hit another quad kill cam besides that before this. Um, and uh, it was split unfortunately, but obviously I did get the kill cam, which was super nice. And my friends in the background were just fucking going crazy over that. And it was just a great time. And here we have my first ever technically trick shot, I guess you could say. It's not really a trick shot since I've spun on ground and then threw my tomahawk. But back then, this was so nice. Like, this was probably one of the best tomahawk trick shots. Uh, there was at this time, in my opinion, it got on a lot of top fives. I bet a lot of people um, know this clip if you watched a lot of throwing knife top fives. It got on a lot of them, and uh, yeah, my friends are just going crazy over this clip. This next clip right here is literally what started to get me noticed in the community. Uh, this clip got on so many different community channels. Like, I remember community channels messaging me to upload this, and it literally is on probably, I'd say, at least 15 community channels. Uh, just because of how sick the clip was. It's definitely one of the best clips um, I've ever hit in my entire life. Like a 5 on multi in Search and Destroy is pretty fucking sick, I'd say. Uh, especially in Black Ops 1, just super nice. And then I get the ace right here. It was just such a nice clip to hit. I remember hitting it and everything. I remember every single thing I did. I remember this clip so vividly. I remember all the reactions and everything. I remember who I was playing with. It was just such a great fucking time. This next clip right here is one of my first ever respawn clips. It was my first ever quad tomahawk ever on Black Ops 1. 
and it was also split 5, which made it really cool. This right here is definitely one of the coolest things I've ever done. Back then, a lot of people knew me for my Search and Destroy Aces. If you're a long-time subscriber, you know this clip. You know me for this clip. Like, so many kids subscribed to me from this clip. It was so fucking great. This got on so many community channels as well. I just fucking... Oh my god. This was like two weeks before Black Ops 2 came out. And I was just going ham on Black Ops 1. A lot of people were starting to notice me. Um, I think I got 2K before Black Ops 2 came out. I'm pretty sure. Um, off of this clip and the clip... I showed you in Search and Destroy it before my 5-man Tom Monk that you just saw. And this clip also got on Amazing Films 24-7, if you guys remember who that was. I'm not sure if his channel is still up. Uh, Two Bucks, that's the guy who runs the channel. He used to, like, troll with Keemstar and whatever, uh, and he was part of that group. And um, that clip was featured on his channel along with another clip, and he single-uploaded that. And I literally blew up after that. I got so many more subscribers. I was at, like, I think 3K after he uploaded that. And it was just so sick. And this clip that you saw right here, I'm sorry that I kind of commentating over this clip uh, for the last clip. I'm not really sure why I did that. But either way, that was this was another sick ace that I was known for. Basically, if you knew me back then, you knew me for my Search and Destroy Aces. That's what almost everyone who subscribed to me was subscribed for. And basically nothing else. Just Search and Destroy Knifing. So this clip right here was right when Black Ops 2 came out. This is the closest thing anybody had to a quad skewer in Search and Destroy uh, at that time. I eventually hit the quad skewer in Search and Destroy. Um, I have it somewhere on my channel. I didn't find it though. Um, and yeah, this was just a really sick clip at the time. I wasn't really that big of a fan of Black Ops 2 when it first came out, so I quickly went back to Multicod. And what the fuck? That was the most unexpected sync. I literally didn't plan that. But anyways, this was a really sick clip at the time. Uh, this is back when, in 2013, I'm pretty sure, back when I went back to Multicod. Um... Because I wasn't really too big of a fan of Black Ops 2. I was later on in its lifespan, though. I like it now, obviously. And, uh, yeah. This next clip right here is another Search and Destroy clip. Uh, but this is not a knifing clip. You guys about to see right here. This is so fucking stupid. Like, I don't know how this hit. I literally just went for it randomly. I didn't even know the guy was there. Um, a lot of people accuse me of this being set up. But, like, I promise you guys, this is not set up. I've never set up a clip in my life, obviously. Um, but this was so unexpected. My friends were literally, like, crying of how fucking stupid this was. This was so stupid. I don't know how this fucking hit, but it did, and I was so lucky when this happened. I was so excited. This next clip right here is yet another Black Ops 1 Ace. I know, not really too surprising, but, um, it's definitely a really sick clip as well. It's one of the fastest ace, uh, aces that I know on Havana. Um, it's also one of my personal fastest aces. I'm pretty sure it's around 10 seconds, probably even less than that, maybe 7 or 8. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just a super sick ace. Um, only 3 in the kill cam, though. I was really surprised when I only got 3 in the kill cam. Uh, there was an unsplit 5 uh, stab in there, which was definitely usable back then, obviously. And uh, as you see right there, I only got 3 in the kill cam, which I was kind of pissed off about. I don't know how that happened, but um, yeah. This clip right here is definitely one of my favorite Search and Destroy clips I've ever hit in my entire life. Especially because of the spot it's in on Grid and Search and Destroy, like, who hits from there. Um, basically, I got the idea from my friend who hit this in the middle of a Domination game, and I was like, oh, that's pretty sick. And then I tried it in Search and Destroy, and this is one of the first times um, I've even went for the shot, and I hit it in one of my first attempts, which was also really sick. And my friends were just freaking out, even people in the lobby were just freaking out. I wasn't even playing with a six-man. Uh, so yeah, this clip right here is my first clip with my XGMX gamer tag. Um, I didn't actually change my gamer tag until like two months after I joined. I joined in summer of 2013, and I didn't change my gamer tag right away. So this is kind of like after I joined. Um, this isn't my first clip in XGMX, but this is my first clip with the gamer tag. And uh, this is around the time I also stopped playing Search and Destroy and kind of shifted over into uh, playing more Respawn. And uh, yeah. This next clip right here is my first real trick shot. This was hit summer of 2014. I was actually going for the score RC, which I never actually posted a response for. I'm not sure why I actually had a decent amount of clips for that. And um, this is right after the Phase 5 RC, which I actually didn't go for either, which I'm not sure why I didn't. I, I honestly should have went for that. But uh, yeah, this is my first actual Tomahawk kill cam. This is around the time where I first started to get a little bit into trick shotting. Um, this is my first ever kill cam in FFA that I've ever hit. Um, I saw a lot of people getting into FFA, hitting a lot of kill cams in FFA, so I thought to myself, why not give myself a chance and try trick shotting in free for all? So I actually did, and I ended up hitting a shot um, in a pretty, um, I, I'd say, like creative spot, and it wasn't really that great of a shot, but I thought it was pretty good. I actually have this single uploaded on my channel, so uh, yeah. 
this clip right here is my first clip with my Elgato that I got. I used to record with an HTTP VR, and then I got an Elgato. This is also my last clip in uh, XGMX, because after this, I joined Obey. And obviously, this is my first clip in Obey. I joined Obey summer of 2014. Blaziken actually recruited me along with Bobo. And uh, this is my first clip. I wasn't really too big of a fan of it, but it was on Meltdown, and it was my first clip. This is my closer to my introducing to Obey. If you guys have seen that, it's definitely one of my best episodes I've ever made, actually. Um, it went on Obey, got a lot of great feedback on Obey, and I won the Obey RC, that's actually how I got in, um, and it's just a really fucking great clip, it was actually on their top 5, Obey's like knifing top 5, they made like a special, and Blazing commentated and everything, and it was super sick, and this was overall a 10 man, which was like unbelievable, nobody was really hitting clips like that at the time, the standards at that point, like clips that were considered like decent clips, were mixed quad feeds, which Obviously now nobody really uses unless it has like a 360 and it's like really fucking beast But other than that, I don't really see too many knifers using mixed quad feeds But uh, you know obviously use whatever you want. There's no like certain thing you got to use whatever I'm not trying to get into that whole standard bullshit But either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed this It took me a really really long time to edit and get all the clips and whatever um, I would have put more highlights of when I was in obey and red but um, I was only in obey and red for like four months combined total I think and I really hate Advanced Warfare, so I'm not really going to put too much Advanced Warfare in this, obviously. I don't think I put any Advanced Warfare in this um, whole entire video, actually. But um, this was Phase Ice before Phase Ice was in Phase. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys kind of know me a little better, um, kind of know my history a little better. So, um, yeah, definitely make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. We live in an age where everything is staged Where all we do is fake our feelings I've been scared to put myself so out there Time is running out, yeah Need to let you know